Oh my gosh, guys, it's finally here. It's finally here. My most anticipated movie of the last five years. And if you couldn't tell already, behind me, decided to get some new decor. There you go. I hope you guys like it, because that's going to be in the background of every one of my videos from now on. Anyway, it's finally here. Let's talk about it. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World is a continuation of the How to Train Your Dragon story of Hiccup, Toothless, Astrid, and a bunch of other side characters. And in this movie, basically, they're being tracked down by a dragon hunter named Grimmel, who's threatening to destroy Burke and capture all of their dragons. And so Hiccup, as chief of Burke, decides to take all the Vikings and all the dragons and go out on a quest to find this hidden world. And that's basically all I can really say about the plot of the movie without giving away too much because I think people should go into this one knowing as little as possible because it'll enhance their experience. But anyway, let's get into How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. As I already said earlier, how to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World was my most anticipated movie, not only of this year, but of the last five years. Ever since I saw How to Train Your Dragon 2, I have been waiting and waiting constantly for this movie to come along so we could see how Toothless and his little Light Fury friend that he meets in the movie, like, see how they interact and how everything goes down. And just how the trilogy concludes, because from what I know, this is supposedly going to be the last movie in the trilogy. It's going to remain a trilogy. So yeah, I was excited to see how it concludes, and wow. This movie, guys, I was speechless after walking out of the theater. And by the way, I did see this movie three weeks early. It actually doesn't come out for another three weeks but, yeah, I'm so glad I got to go to this early screening because, wow, it just left me speechless. And I don't know how I could have waited so any longer to see this movie. It's just, oh, like, there isn't even a good word to describe it. Amazing is not a good enough word to describe this movie. First off, the animation is absolutely beautiful in this movie. Like, if you thought it was great in the first two movies... It's even better here. It just looks absolutely flawless. I love the animation in this movie. It's very colorful. It bounces off the screen. It's just amazing to look at. A visual spectacle. And then you got the voice actors. Of course, you have Jay Baruchel, I think is how you pronounce his name, who plays Hiccup. He's awesome. Again, America Ferreira, who plays Astrid. She's awesome. And then you got people like Jonah Hill... You got uh, Kate Blanchett, who plays Valka. I thought she was awesome. Uh, Kit Harrington is back again. And you have several other people. I think Kristen Wiig is in this movie as well. But yeah, all the voice acting is great. But the real question is, like, how is this movie compared to the other two movies? Honestly, I think it's up there with the other two. I don't know if I would call them better or worse than the other two. I'd just say it's right up there with them. I can't really say anything else. But, yeah, this movie, it's absolutely beautiful. Just the story that goes along with it. Ooh. There are times in this movie where it really hits you hard. Like, really hard. Like, on in the heartstrings. It's crazy. Like, I teared up so many times throughout this movie. And I actually cried toward the end of it, too. Like, I'm not even joking. This movie had me bawling at times and of course like all the action sequences like there's a lot of action sequences in this movie and i thought they were all really well done they were great and the chemistry between all the all the vikings are absolutely great like that's what that's part of what made the other two movies so great and of course the dra the cutest dragon the best movie dragon ever toothless like, how could, 
like i'm just gonna say this this movie would not work without toothless toothless is just he's just the most adorable dragon like there's times where he's badass fighting enemies and all that and then there's times where he's just so adorable and i thought he and hiccup they really work well together like in the other two movies i thought he and the light fury had great chemistry just all the characters are so lovable in this movie so likable and there's actually one side character that has a really good standout moment midway through the film but again i'm not going to say who it is because i want people to go into this as blind as possible but wow and then of course the third act of this movie and just the ending in general it's just perfect it's perfect like it's not predictable at all it's got some great action in it and then just that tear jerking ending wow again no spoilers but let's just say it's absolute perfection and the perfect way to conclude this beautiful amazing animated trilogy like i don't know how they can make a fourth movie because the way this movie ends it's just perfect it's just perfect there doesn't need to be a fourth movie so yeah how to train your dragon hidden world it's beautiful the characters are fantastic the animation's great the voice acting is great the story is fantastic it's new and innovative it feels original even though it is a sequel and like you you saw in the trailer they actually went to the hidden world in the trailer that scene is just awesome and there's actually one moment in that scene, I can't give it away, but one moment that caught me by surprise. And then, of course, all the other moments that caught me by surprise. The jokes. It's, this movie is really funny as well. I, I probably should mention that. This movie is hilarious. Especially, like, you saw it in the trailer where Toothless is trying to impress the Light Fury. <laughs> that scene is just... That scene had me dying. And again with one of the side characters. I mentioned one of the side characters had a standout scene. That scene was hilarious as well. So many of the jokes in this movie work to perfection. Like, this movie's just perfect. It's the perfect way to end the trilogy. It's the perfect send-off for, for the How to Train Your Dragon films. It's just, like, honestly... Like, as soon as this movie comes out, you need to go see it, because it's just that amazing. Like, and I, what, I never really saw anything coming at all. So, yeah. I have one major flaw with this movie. It ended. And the How to Train Your Dragon movies are over. We won't get any more. That's really it. That is it. I'm sad that it's over, but I am happy that it happened. So, yeah, good on you, How to Train Your Dragon Hidden World. Good on you. So there it is, How to Train Your Dragon Hidden World. It was just a spectacle to behold. It's a cinematic masterpiece. It really is. It's a masterpiece in animation, a masterpiece in film in general. I'm so glad that my new poster makes its debut in this review of the movie. Because, I mean, where else would it make its debut? How to Train Your Dragon Hidden World. It's a How to Train Your Dragon Hidden World poster. So, yeah. But, yeah. It's just the perfect way to end this trilogy. The perfect conclusion. I absolutely love this movie. And I cannot wait to go see it again. Thursday night, February 21st. In my local theater. It's amazing guys go see it as soon as it comes out in three weeks like literally as soon as it comes out with that being said how to train your dragon hidden world absolutely deserves my first 100 percent perfect score certified fresh rating that is an a plus And there it is. That is my review of How to Train Your Dragon Hidden World. I know some people, most people probably haven't seen it yet, but for those that did get to go to the early screening yesterday at 3 p.m. February 2nd, 
Those of you that did get to go to that screening, let me know what you thought about the movie in the comments below. And when you do see the movie, make sure to let me know what you think about it. And what's your favorite dragon in a movie? For me, it is Toothless. I do think he is the best dragon in a movie. Some people might say Smog. Some people might say, I don't know, one of the other dragons in this movie. But for me, it's easily Toothless. So, yeah, make sure let me know down in the comments below. What's your favorite animated trilogy of all time? Some people would say Toy Story. Honestly, this is up there with Toy Story for me. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's up there with Toy Story. But yeah, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to this channel for more reviews to come in the future. I don't really know what I'm going to review next. I think Lego Movie is coming out next weekend. So maybe the second Lego Movie. So maybe that'll be next. But until that next review or whenever I make another video, once again, my name is the California Cougar. And always remember to say California Cool. Peace. Yeah.